Now, the Southern African staple maize may be in tight supply until next year. This as the region has been hard hit by the El Nino impact. As a result, the Brazilian market is now being tapped for corn. Tabi Lengunjana, agricultural economist in the agro food chains markets and economic research division at the National Agricultural Marketing Council joins us now for more insight into El Nino and its impact on the South Africa, Southern African food market. Thank you so much for your time, Tabi. Now let's first talk about the importance of corn as a food source in Africa. Okay, good afternoon to you, uh, Nati, and thanks for having me. Um, so, yeah, um, we know Southern Africa is facing quite a rough patch at this time. And this, of course, for the obvious reasons you mentioned, the El Ninos. So basically now we have an issue where we have seen some of the key areas that are producing staple foods, especially maize, that are being impacted negatively. And you remember that grains from this part of the world, they play a very critical role for the food security of the billions of people in this con in continent. So as a result, there have been fears that because of the drought that has been induced by the El Nino, we're gonna probably have uh, you know some shortages of, of, of maize, particularly uh, white maize. But therefore now the situation is still developing, but at least the projections are pointing to a quite a, a gloomy uh, picture for now. Yeah, and actually, I mean, just which regions are hardest hit right now and how dire is the situation, particularly for food security on the continent? Um, so for now, there are several countries that have declared, you know, state of, uh, of agency as, a, you know, a sort of a disaster that have been, uh, that is uh, Zambia, one of them, uh, Malawi, and then Zimbabwe. So as a result of the El Nino, so those countries, they've uh, experienced quite a significant impact on their uh, maize production with some, uh, for instance, in, in uh, Zim, now there's some speculations that the country will need to import at least, at least 1.1 million of maize from now towards the, the, the next year, that is the marketing season that is coming. And then Zambia, of course, another key supplier of maize in the region has been negatively impacted with some projections pointing to at least around probably 50% of the reduction of May. So that's a significant issue if you're looking into the region entirely because Zambia and South Africa are key suppliers of maize from this part of the, of the, of the continent. In fact, they do even supply to as far as uh, some countries in, in East Africa and then some in, in, uh, in West. So it is a kind of uh, developing situation that we are currently monitoring, but it is pointing to a relatively uh, not a good picture. But of course, we don't want to put free people into fear, but the reality is that the situation is facing us and we need to have some sort of plans to deal with it. Well, let's actually talk about South Africa's role in this market because you do say that it is an exporter, but of course we've been hearing a lot that we've also been impacted by El Nino. So where does South Africa fit in now? Um, so, I mean, South Africa is the leading producer of maize uh, mm -hmm. from this uh, from Africa. So, it produces quite a lot of that, and as an exporter as well, it is a, a key supply of that, particularly uh, for white maize uh, specific yeah. to the Southern Africa region. Because remember that uh, as much as we do produce a lot of yellow maize, uh, also white maize is a product that South Africa is actually amongst the top exporters in the world together with Mexico and sometimes with the small patches that are sort of coming from uh, the countries like US, but the two countries that are key to supply uh, white maize is South Africa and Mexico at a global scale. And then of course, within Africa, or specifically the Southern Africa region, uh, South Africa is the leading there. And of course, countries that are neighboring to us, they are the ones that are normally relying on that. So as a result of that, the El Nino that you were talking about earlier on, we have seen a, a decline of at least projections in terms of around 20% of our maize that is cutting across the overall maize production in South Africa. So that means then uh, for the countries that rely from South Africa to buy this maize, there's going to probably be a shortage of that. As a result, there has been talks that, you know, there has to be some alternatives that, you know, the, the countries that normally look for South Africa to also source their supplies elsewhere. And this is something that Zimbabwe has recently announced that they are looking for some of the amazing, for instance, from Brazil as a result of the situation that is happening in South Africa. Well, as uh, Zim is looking to Brazil, uh, to Brazil, uh, does Brazil now carry the weight of all the world looking for maize at this point? Are there any other options? 
Um, no, I mean, uh, the, the issue is, for instance, as I mentioned, Mexico is another key supplier of white okay. meat. Uh, yeah. at, at this stage, there's an issue in Mexico as well. Yeah. Because uh, there has been some uh, restrictions of importing some maize, uh, white maize from, uh, from the U.S., their neighbor. Mm. So that means then that for what they have uh, domestically, it's probably going to be even smaller for them to supply, you know, uh, the other countries that are in need. So which is why now... Um, uh, the countries like Zimbabwe are looking for 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 Brazil. Mm -hmm. Another potentially or, or another potentially supplier would probably be Argentina. But of course, I mean Argentina sometimes it also has been hit in recent times by the drought and all that. And also, they tend to be some sort of you know policies that tend to be an issue in Argentina as well. So mm -hmm. for now, the, the situation at least in the shorter period, uh, it, it appears you know quite an uh, uh, worrisome one. But of mm -hmm. course, as I said earlier on, this is not to say. Yes. Uh, there's going to be an issue to a, a large extent of trying to trigger some mm -hmm. fear around people, but that is the reality that we're going to probably have, you know, um, the shortages of, of, of white maize specifically. And this has been actually reflected on the white maize prices already. In South well, actually, I was going to go to that because, yeah, we're trying not to panic. This is not, you know, a time to panic. Mm -hmm. There are options available. But this is the current situation where there is some pressure being experienced. And you talk about prices now. So what does that mean then in terms of the, the pressure and uncertainty when it comes to the inflation picture? Um, so the, the, the reality is that, I mean, when situations like this do occur, it is inevitable that we're going to see, you know, some sort of a reaction from the market. Remember, markets react on developments, be it mm. a drought, be it a conflict in Ukraine or in, yeah. in Middle East or maybe some supply chains, you know, uh, across the, the sea where products are exported uh, via to. Mm. So definitely there's going to be a reaction to that. As a result, specifically for white maize in South Africa now, you know, the prices for a ton of white maize, it is selling around 5.5. Uh, and this is something that is actually very higher compared to a normal period when we don't have a situation like this. Uh, for instance, normally we will be selling prices around, uh, you know, uh, 3.8 to 4.2 around this time. As a result of this El Nino, now we are selling it at a, a, around you know 25, 26 percent mm. more on a year-in-year -year basis. This is a result of the decline that is projected specifically for white maize. But when you look into the in terms of uh, yellow maize, there's not necessarily going to be an issue there because if there's an issue in South Africa, mm. the world mostly exports or produces yellow maize, and therefore there's not going to be an issue there. And also because from this part of the con of the continent, or at least Southern Africa. Yellow maize is not consumed by, uh, you know, by mm. humans per se. It is mostly for feeding uh, humans, and therefore the problem that we're probably going to see it is going to for the products that is uh, made of the white maize as a result of the current situation from South Africa specifically. Uh, talking about inflation, we need to hide all the news and this interview from uh, Saab Governor Lesetja Khanyaho. Uh, thank you so much for <laughs> your time, Tamile. Really, really appreciate it. And that was Tamile Ngunjana, agricultural economist in the agro-food chains markets and economic research division at the National Agricultural Marketing Council.